Hass Online Trade Server 2.0. Here's a dashboard. You can get an overview of your bots. If the bot is on the red side, it's trying to sell. If it's in the middle, it's waiting. And if it's on the green side, it's buying. This is all updated in real time. And then you've got these symbols up here that's going to tell you if the API is connected correctly, if your trade amount, trade amount is okay, if any safeties have been activated, or if there are open orders. So for example, here and here, there is an issue that trade amount is invalid. That means that I am, it's too high right now. So I might have to switch from buy to sold or to sold to buy the fiat or the coin side or the Bitcoin altcoin side, depending on what I have. And here is what it looks like when it's deactivated. Then you see clearly, okay, that bot is deactivated. I can activate, deactivate, delete, or trade now directly here from the dashboard. And I can also have a closer look at the bot. Also over here, you've got some other features, order view, exchanges, news, price comparison, market view. You can also, and this is also where you can add new bots. Add a trade bot, add an order bot, add a script bot, add an arbitrage bot. Okay, today we're just dealing with the trade bots. We're not getting into the order bots, the arbitrage bots, or the script bots but we're gonna take a look at the typical trade bot. Okay, let's go over here to one that is deactivated and let's have a closer look. So you press the I if you wanna have a closer look. This all takes place in a web browser. Right now I've got Chrome running. Okay, good, so here I've got the Elliott indicator Okay, I'm double click that and now I can edit the values in the indicator. So you can have the time interval updated, for example, here. You can only use a buy signal, only use a sell signal. You could reverse it and you can change the length of the Elliott wave, depending. Here are the different time choices. Of course, you can also decide what exchange you're getting the signal from. So inside the indicator, you're not selecting what exchange you're trading on, but you're selecting what exchange you get the signal from. So, and I do not have all activated currently, but I do have some. So um, you could use the signal from Hubai and trade on BTCE or Bitfinex as an example. All right, you select your pair, of course. And if you like that, then you just hit update and it's going to update it. You say, okay. All right, let's explain the chart a little bit. So up here are these green that of course means at the, during there, there was a buy signal. And of course, where you see red, it was a sell signal. Okay, let's go back, get an overview here. All right, and here where I go to trade settings, then I can select how much and the current position, bought or sold. You can also use all in, which is actually 95%, or you can do percentage based of the bought or the sold side. Okay, let's go back. Now let's head over to general settings. So here is where we're going to select what exchange we're actually trading on could be the same one the indicator is using or not. There you go. And if you're into altcoins, we can do altcoins too. Check out the nice list here. So go wild, go crazy. All right, let's go back to just Bitfinex and let's go back. Okay, let's check out uh, what kind of indicators we've got going on. What, what kind of potential do we have? What can we build here? So you can combine indicators, of course. And of course, there won't be a buy or sell signal unless all indicators and all insurances agree. So first, let's just go over some of the indicators. We have added in the beta the Ichimiku clouds. Let's check that out. Add. All right, and right now I'm going to take away the Elliott waves. Yes. Okay, let's 
double click the indicator. All right, now we've got our cloud. And here we can change how the interval time that it's updated, and we can also change the values, as you see. You could also use it to just buy or just sell. You might ask, well, what, what, why is that useful? Well, you can think for yourself. If you want to just un slowly unload and you want to use the cloud as an indicator, then you could do that. If you want to slowly buy, then you could just use buy. It's up to you. If you want to reverse it, in some cases, a reverse signal is useful. So just keep an open mind. Here at the top, you can see here we've got the sell, and here we've got the buy, and then we've got the sell again. Okay, now we've got that update. So you can, up here are some useful things. Let's, if you press this, it's going to back test just the indicator. Let's do that. Yes, please back test. All right, so now we've got an updated overview. All right, now let's go back. Okay, great. And we've got it on a pretty short time span. So let's add an insurance to make sure that we don't get destroyed with the trade fees. That's one strategy. You don't have to do it. So here's an example of some of our insurances. We've got avoid walls, cancel order after so many minutes, disable on losses, never sell cheaper, overcome fee costs, price change, percentage change, sell at double fee costs. So right now I'm just going to pick the simple overcome fee costs and the fee costs are sent directly from the API from whatever exchange. So you don't have to worry if the, you know, one exchange it's 0.2%, one exchange it's 0 0.3 or 0 0.5 or 0 0.1 or whatever. It's, it's done by the exchange. As an alternative, you could use percentage change, and depending on how how often you want to trade, you know, you could set the higher or lower, etc. But right now, we're just going to do overcome fee costs. So that's going to filter out over trading, hopefully. All right, now let's back test the whole bot. So now we're not in the indicator, but we've got the insurance and an indicator. So we want to backtest how they would work together. Okay, I'm going to press backtest. Then I need to select the length of the backtest. Let's select a week, just see what happens. Since we're using a small time frame in our bot, week should give us some kind of idea what's going on. And that means we would have made eight trades with a profit of $10 if we had our trade mount at one BTC. Does that mean the future will do that? No, but it's a back test based on history. So it gives you an idea of what could happen. All right, so let's go back to the overview. If you want to go to the dashboard, you can just go down here to where it says dashboard, or you can just click the rabbit up here, and you'll go back to your dashboard. And here you've got your overview, and you can check stuff out. All right, another thing that is interesting is the Notification Center. Let's go over there. So you can get an update of everything that's going on. Okay, so you've got all kinds of stuff. Ben here's the benchmarks we just did. Here are some different, different things that are going on at whatever exchange. All right, let's click back. So we're going to go back to the dashboard. And then we're going to check out another thing that's going to show us the last trades that happened. Order view. Okay, and here are the you know finished orders, exchange orders, executing orders, and queued orders. So if you have any open orders, they would show up here. And if you have any, see there are no queued orders, that's good. So if you have an open order, it's going to block that bot on the pair sometimes. Executing orders, nothing going on right the second. Finished orders, you just saw, etc. And here you can go back and pick specifically what exchange you want to look at.
Okay, so I just wanted to show you some of the features. This is in beta, so it might look slightly different, but it will only get better. But I'm very pleased at what it looks like so far. It's very easy to use. Keep in mind, I'm using a laptop that's not really the fastest, so if you have a faster laptop, it might react a little bit faster, but the bots itself are, are going at full speed. It's just the page updates that might look a little bit laggy. And if you have any questions, just comment below. Thanks for watching.